The Jones Inner Cable Broadcast Complex, a mighty place in Elgin, Illinois. It's time for Jeff's Place, where it's just like Jeff's home. <laughs> Except here we have cameras. Now, let's go to Jeff's Place. Ah, yes, indeed. A big round of applause from our crowd because we have an incredible go ahead. We have, there, we have one person. We, we stopped somebody on the street and said, hey, would you like to be an audience? We have here on this edition of Jeff's Place, episode 14, of course, Liz Cusper is always with us. Hello, Liz. <laughs> Hello, Jeff. Hey, let me shake hands with you. <laughs> we have a couple of birthday stories. There you are. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was A couple of birthday stories we have for you. We have, suddenly I'm off center, I'll go like this. We have a chance, <laughs> we have the most performance-driven, thank you, Ben. We have the most performance-driven <laughs> show we've ever had here. We have all kinds of incredible singers. I heard them. They're really good. We we have in the corner, which you'll see in just a few moments, average, well, not average age, but <laughs> cumulative age is 259. This is their last performance standing. <laughs> <laughs> they, I guarantee they will never stand again. These kids will be out there waiting for us. But the Barbershop Quartet Grandfather's Clock is here. Yeah, they uh, are very good. Show. Yeah, tonight, I can say that. <laughs> and also we have, we have discovered i got to get a new neck. We have discovered Jim Banky, an incredible talent. You know, recently one of the Chicago radio stations dropped country, but Jim Banky is an incredible country singer. Mm -hmm. He's right here. He moved to Elgin when he was three days old. There's quite a story there. With his Banky. He, he was a little late packing. His mom said, you pack because we're moving. And they his brought mom him. ended up doing that. But Jim Banky is here, and he has his own. Look at this. Do you have your own little cassette? Jim Banky. I don't have to see that, but his name is right on there. It's so pretty is good. He's maybe maybe uh, somebody will discover him from here. Yeah. Well, boy, don't you know, we've, we've had a long list of folks go on to <laughs> success here, <laughs> as you know. Are those talent scouts out there? So uh, that's what we have. And also, also, we have a chef. We have Chef of the Future. And my favorite Honeymooner episode. You ever see that one? Yes. You have? Did you really? Or are you just kidding me? No, no, no. It's really funny. The chef, where they go, zip, zip, Chef of the Future. <laughs> Well, we have not so much the chef of the future, but the chef of the current Jeff's Place edition, and you never know, can tell when we'll be renewed. And with these lights, they're going to cook us. Epi it's yeah, so hot. Episode, are you done? No. Episode 14, this is of Jeff's Place. Larry Gerber is here, and he's going to cook something up for us. It'll be simply incredible, and you'll want to be involved with that. So the barbershop quartet, are you guys collapsing yet? No, oh, they're, they're, prop Just they're actually marionettes on strings. <laughs> when you see them, look, we, because we made this Jeff's Place 3D show. Did I tell you that? No, the you networks didn't. Are doing, have you got your glasses on? Maybe, maybe so. <laughs> we have made this the special 3D edition that we're going to look forward to. We were going to have it, you know, I don't, I don't want to tell you, but we have, we have, we uh, went through a birthday since the most recent Jeff's Place, is that right? Right, and you have a little bit of an older story than me, don't you? <laughs> well, well, it's just because I have poor writers. That's why my stories are old. You're not talking about my age. I was looking at myself in the mirror because, after all, no one else will, and I don't know what these bags I got here. It's like when uh, young uh, Jim Banky moved to town at age three, and he was carrying these same things. I don't know what it is. Probably that rest uh, when, you know, we get the ratings on the show, and it'll be that rest I have after that. Yeah. Oh, but, but you had a birthday. Tell me about your birthday. Well, it was actually it was a lot of fun. We went to a Japanese restaurant and had sushi. Did you? And then came back and had a, a big poker game. Boy, that sounds like a birthday made in heaven. <laughs> It sushi is. in a poker game. Well, you know, when you're only 26, you yeah, can, when you're you can kind of do whatever you want. I guess. I had a chance. I had real soft cereal. That uh, my, my nurse brought in. Yeah. <laughs> and, and darn it, guys, if there's talking, there's going to be a quiz on this later. <laughs> well, up. But our birthdays are only, what, four days apart? Yeah, she's, she is born. That's why she is here with us. You are born the same day as David Letterman, not the same year. And David Cassidy. And David Cassidy. My heavens, isn't his career skyrocketing lately? <laughs> <laughs> well, David Cassidy will be singing right after Jim Banky on the special edition yeah. of Jeff's Place. <laughs> boy, I can't top that. David oh, Cassidy, no. huh? Ooh, boy. 
Oh, oh, well, oh we're going to do any other stories we have for us? Well, just what I did this weekend. Well, what did you do this? Like this being aired four or five times during the month of May, let me ask the question. What did you do this weekend? I was in a car accident. Oh, you were. And then I fell off a cliff when I was skydiving. The perils of Pauline? I broke my leg. Oh, stop it. Stop no, it right I did. There. And I recovered, though. Oh, did you? In time to come here for the show. All right. Uh, was that Ben supplying that, that, that little humor for you? Thanks, Ben. That <laughs> yeah, didn't that's work right. very well. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> what we have here is, are you guys all right? Uh, okay, because they have a spokesman there, and he's, somebody had to get, go out and get water just before showtime. <clears throat> of our grandfather's clock. Do you remember grandfather's clock on uh, Captain Kangaroo? Yes, was, I do. Was it, yeah, he had a grandfather's clock. And there's the, uh, we're going to see the guys in a moment. But he was my favorite character because they'd wake him up. Wasn't that it? On, on Captain, wasn't that it? Because the, the bunny rabbit would come out. Yeah. Bunny rabbit would go like that. And Mr. Moose would go, good morning, Captain. And, the, and, and then Dancing Bear. For, I thought, I didn't know it was a bear. I thought he didn't have any clothes. I had no idea. Oh, my goodness. That Dancing Bear was actually a bear. I was nine. Oh. I hadn't moved to Elgin yet. Grandfather's clock is here. So uh, let, let's swing the camera over. Can we do that? Because in the corner, we have 259 years of cumulative age right here. Can we see these guys right here? There we go. They're all standing still. Hi, man. How are you? Bill, you're the hey, spokesman. Is that right? Fine. Thanks. Bill, now what's your last name, Bill? Helen. Oh, easy for you to say. Right. I think you were trying to shoot me the other yeah. day. Uh -huh. Bill Pellin, how do you spell that? P-E-L-L-A-N-T. Yeah, see? See, even all those singers rhythmic in the way they spell their names. <laughs> okay, Bill, who other way? We have uh, my good friend John Fox. I know that's yeah, John right John there. John Fox standing next to me. He's waving. On his left is Harry Swenson. He's Harry. the lead. Hello, Harry Swenson. And on the far end is Stu Crockett. He's the tenor. Oh, Stu Crockett's the tenor. Yes, and uh, John is the bass, and I'm the baritone. Oh, you are. Yeah. Well, that, that's kind of nice. And you guys are, as we said, Grandfather's Clock. You will perform during this month of May, this Jeff's Place edition you're performing at uh, ECC. Is that right? Well, we've got a, the Elgin chapter, which we're members of. Okay. Uh, uh, is, has a show on the 23rd and 24th at ECC Stage 1. And uh, we're really here to encourage people to attend. We'll be singing as a quartet. We're also members of the chorus. And we have two guest quartets from uh, outside of Elgin that are top-notch quartets that have finished high in the competitions in the state of Illinois as a district. So and these, real... this is an annual show that we do at ECC. Yes, we do it every year. Uh -huh. And for the last two years at Stage 1, it will be, and its showtime is 8.01 on the nights of May 23rd. 8.01, that's right. Well, is there a silly tradition behind that? Can you tell well, me about that? Well, it's just that we didn't want to start early for latecomers, so instead of starting at the traditional right. 8 o'clock, we start at 8.01. Always let Ellen get the first moment. <laughs> I don't know what that is. There must be some television tradition we can work in there. Well, I'm going to be quiet for once here on Jeff's Place, if that's all right with you guys. And you have anything, Liz? You're all right? No, I'd like to hear him sing. The Barbershop Quartet Grandfather's Clock, you guys are. Bill, put that down, and I'll just be quiet and try to hum right along with you. Go ahead, fellas. Oh! They say some people long ago were searching for a different tune, one that they could croon as only they can. As only they, can. they only had the rhythm so, the rhythm so they started swaying to and fro, swaying to and fro. They didn't know just what to use. That Gave birth to 
hit me. That was so uh, <laughs> Nice job. Again, we're going to see you. Are you guys all from Elgin? Are you all Elgin uh, men, Bill? No, no we're not all. What? Elgin. You're dismissed from the squad. Oh, well. Who's we, not we, from we Elgin? We come here every week, though. Oh, you, know? you do? Yeah. Stuart and, and John are both from Elgin. Harry lives in South Barrington, and I come all the way from Wakanda. No, wow. you did. Well, congratulations. And we'll look forward to... Uh, hearing you on those nights. Well, it's a great time. Everybody has a good time. We'd like to see all of you there. How long have you guys been together as this quartet? Well, with John, as a, who is our newest member, we've only been together for a little over a year. But uh, the rest of us, the three of us, have been together for six years. And the two on the other, on the far end down there, Stu and Harry, they've been in singing in various quartets for the past, what, 18, 18. 18 years. Wow. I would like to think there's 259 years of stories. Yeah, well, <laughs> there sure is. <laughs> and we've just heard one of them, I think. <laughs> right. Well, congratulations, and I know uh, John Fox and his, his lovely wife, uh, Mrs. Fox, <laughs> I know her so well, is <laughs> right in this thing. She's in there. I know she watches all the time. We're quite close. <laughs> All right, Liz, <laughs> I don't know what that means. we got to get out of here because we got some chefing to do. Some How many cooking. times do we cook here on the, this show? Never, as far as comedy. You know what? We cooked with the worms. But we, oh, that's right. We cooked with the worms. A professional chef, Larry Gerber, on the next segment of Jeff's Place. We'll see you then. As we promised you, we have a cooking segment coming our way, and this is Larry Gerber. Larry, Hi, Chef Jeff. of the Future, how How's are you, going? sir? Okay. Larry Gerber, and he's going to put together, this is my lovely assistant, Liz. Hi, Liz. Liz. How are you? Good. Woman's work's never done. All right. Now, don't, <laughs> don't make a social statement out of it. Look for her public service announcement later. You are going to put together in this eight-minute segment, follow along at home, kids. You are going to put together a whole meal for us, are you not? Well, yeah, an entree, sure. Okay, an entree, yeah. all right. Why be specific when we have Larry? Exactly. Now, now Larry, what are we going to see here? What are you, you, you brought a grill. I've First got time some... we've ever had a grill in here. Yeah, and then you guys were worried about the smoke, and obviously there's none, so we're, we're okay. cool there. We're much relieved now, Larry. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got, we're going to grill some yellowfin tuna. Yellowfin tuna will be grilled, all right? That's and always a very good social uh, thing. Yeah, and we we named it Megan's Bay Tuna because the first time we've had that was in St. Thomas near Megan's Bay. Oh, okay. So, where are you? It, it's great there. It's a, you know, aqua blue waters and everything. And we kind of stole the recipe from this little joint. So, so you're a traveler. So it's going to be the first time on Jeff's show yeah. that we're going to be actually doing Apparently this. Apparently we've been renamed, kids. Yeah. Right here on Jeff's place, you're going to do that. Now, Larry, as you continue to cook, you're an, you're an Elgin lad, are you? Exactly. Not? And yeah. you've, been, you've been doing that, i got to ask you your microphone. You have been cooking all your life, is that right? Uh, yeah, ever since I was a Boy Scout. And, cool. you know, yeah. so that's what, my merit badge? 12 years old, 13, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. those Boy Scout trips when we had gourmet meals. I exactly, that. exactly. <laughs> like like hamburger that? stew. All right. <laughs> well, uh, what else, uh, the assistant, Liz, what does she have to do for you? Well, Liz already, was, she did some prep work for us, yeah, so she squeezed some lime, so we have some fresh lime juice, and we have some fresh ginger root also. Ginger root. And uh, what I need her to do is I need her to take the sesame oil, which is right. right over there in front of the towels, and put approximately two tablespoons <laughs> into that bowl. That. Yeah, you'll have to guess, you know, just like feel. Two tablespoons and, of uh, what is this again? Uh, sesame seed oil. Oh, so I have some with a my little, coffee every morning. Yeah, okay. it, it's really nice. Yeah. And then the balsamic vinegar, which uh, we'll put a tablespoon of that in there. Would not go anywhere We're, without it. No, I no, not absolutely it. not. Okay. And, wow. Yeah, and oh. it, it's great because it's acidic and it uh, cleans out the system really oh, well. Right. It's kind of like a broom. Yeah, let's hope it's, it's a natural it broom. Over, it just sweeps <laughs> the garbage out. Okay. Well, as much hot sauce as you guys can tolerate, because you're going to be eating this stuff. And uh, okay. <laughs> well said. <laughs> Put a little snippet in there because we got crew members are tough. Yeah. So if they like it hot, just dump we the bottle in there. We have some formal. You know, and that's Tennessee hot sauce, Ooh. but you could use Louisiana or. 
scotch bonnet or a habanero or yeah, it's, it's yeah this only stuff for ben. it's only about 10,000 BTUs oh, as opposed to a scotch bonnet that? which is like 50,000 and then a little bit of the soy sauce okay and we're using light soy because it's got less sodium but the flavor is still there because okay. we're all trying to worry about yeah, obviously yeah. it's working on you Larry it is I'm <laughs> taking off 30 pounds yeah. believe it or not I tell you. so <laughs> all right uh, about a tablespoon a tablespoon, a tablespoon it is okay here we go Coming to and I'm gonna, live on tape, this is, kids. And okay. I'm going to check on this check unit on the tuna. because we don't have to, with, with tuna, it doesn't have to be cooked all the way through. It can be like rare. No, of course. You know, like and that's, sushi. Exactly. Yeah. For your birthday, she had some. Did she? Yeah, she had sushi. We heard that story in the first segment. Okay. You were out cooking. I was party. out cooking. Yeah. Exactly. But I'll catch it when it airs. Oh, yeah. When it airs. <laughs> you got this television thing down to a tea later. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> coached right. me well last month. Well, let's keep so, moving right along. Uh, so, the future. so, Liz, just take a fork and start, you know, See if it's mixing done. that a little bit of emulsion okay. there. Right. And uh, we're going to mix this up. And then I'm going to turn this unit because I think, just by looking at it, it's pretty much seared on the other side. I thought so. And it's yeah. flaking really nicely, if well, you guys in TV <laughs> land sorry, can tell. <laughs> so, yeah, and, and, you know, considering. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're, we're going to keep that there. And then when it's done, what we're going to do is we're going to pour it over. And it's going to be like a nice little sauce. Mm. So, are you seeing hey, on camera? You're seeing Are you tuna seeing there? this hold beautiful tuna fillet out there? Can you hold that up? Because I've never grilled tuna before. I well, say. it's... Are you going to break it in part? Aren't well, maybe. But see here, right. I'll lift part of it here. Home, I'll lift part of it. There it is. And there it is. And this would be like the. This is the. Uh, that would be like the specimen before we put nice it on there. Nice camera shot yeah, and there too. we're actually getting just a little oh, bit of smoke. So Rich Hard doesn't to have to that worry about that. Hard to believe that was once Charlie. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. He finally made it. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, I, nine dollars it was. Uh, nine dollars. Nine dollars. And how much was it a pound? Nothing. Nine dollars. But nothing. You know, I mean, God, if we were doing Oprah, we'd just be doing like hamburgers and T-bones. Yeah. You know, appealing to the masses. But here we're at Jeff, so we're doing exotic stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, thank, well said. Because there, your audience is state of the art. <laughs> yeah, so. they really are. Exactly. Yeah. We come in each individual's home. That's what right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, Larry, what else can we do? You know, I'm pretty... You guys can just stand there and uh, I'll do the cooking okay, and we, we can have... just wrap. How's that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got three minutes left in the segment. Okay. Guys. All right, music, so, please. Yeah, so, uh, and again, uh, how long have you lived here in Elgin? Uh, about six years. Six years, okay. Yeah. Now, you're just a chef uh, at home, or, or do you have a... Well, what I do is I write uh, two columns in a barbecue magazine called USA Smoke. Wow. USA Smoke? USA Smoke, and it's kind of funny because my brother-in-law, when I gave it to him, he thought it was like a paraphernalia magazine, but actually <laughs> it's, you know, actually, which is uncool, oh, I guess but so. actually it's a barbecue magazine, and it's... Very you know, we talk about everything from grilling to barbecue. Blah, blah, blah. Grilling to oh, ahead, I'm Liz. sorry. No, so no. where can you get a copy of that? I'd like a copy. You can get it by subscribing. And if you email me, I can mm -hmm. get you a free copy. Yeah. And okay. if you email me at barbecueman at AOL.com, wow. barbecueman, B-A-R-B-Q-U-M-A-N, mm -hmm. um, you watch we'll, we'll get fiction. you guys oh, as many copies as you want. Okay, sounds so uh, sounds good with that. Now, uh, what else? We're just waiting for that. We've got everything. We're ready waiting to go. on this, and uh, the magic of TV. It, it probably would be done yeah. in, in a matter of, you know. And we'll have that wrap party at the end. Where it, it, exactly. Yeah, so. Yeah, we're just, this is really easy. I mean, it, it basically... I know, I wouldn't have any problem getting all this it, stuff it, out. And it's maintenance-free, <laughs> guys. I mean, you just stand here and you look pretty, and the, <laughs> the, Weber does, the Weber does its own work, you know? Uh, by the way, Betty Hughes gave me this Weber for your show. So oh, Betty did? Hughes at Weber Stevens said... Do you need a one touch? And I said, yeah, Jeff would like the new one <laughs> well, instead wow. of my 12 year old kettle. Betty so, will be outfitting the entire set next week. Exactly. Yeah, thank you, Betty. And if you guys in TV land have any grill questions, like if it's 4th of July and you're in a hurry, call the Weber grill line. And one, they'll do it. 1 800 grill out. You <laughs> 1 800 grill out. And they'll you know, help I, you I guys. I was dialing that last night. Uh, yeah, I, I bet. I'm to pick up some of these things. 1 800 grill out. 1 800 okay. grill out. And they'll We're be able to help you. We got about and 30 seconds. Can we ceremonially place this? We can ceremonially, ceremonially place this. Here we go, kids. Get ready. And okay. since it's tuna, it needs to be 
rare. It needs to be rare tuna. And then Liz, if you can just put a little, nah, maybe half of that this on there. This is a special moment in the history of Jeff's Place, the first tuna we have grilled. And the ginger is really nice. It's like citrus. Mm -hmm. It's like hot. Yeah. It's like... I enjoyed her work in Gilligan's Island. Exa well, <laughs> yeah. some are partial to Marianne, too, yeah. but, you know, if, so, you're, if you like the brunettes. But This is a masterpiece. Whoops, I'm going to spill all over the Jeff's Place uh, desk. The masterpiece that we have right here. And Larry, what other, anything else you want to tell us in about 20 seconds? You're um, a great chef, you're a chef of the future. Thanks, Jeff. The, the only thing you have to do is make sure that your grill is hot, get all the junk off it from the previous use, and grease it up really Grease good. it up. And your stuff hair, will, no, not, okay. it will not stick. <laughs> all right, and try not to burn the place down. That's exactly. The chef of the future, Larry Grill. Thank you. We appreciate you being thanks, here. Thanks, Liz. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you for with an apron. Okay, nothing we can say about that. It speaks for itself. Dark original. And we're going to dig in after the show. Tell you what, we have got a wonderful Elgin singer that's going to clear his lungs in just a few moments mm -hmm. on the next segment of Jeff's Place. <laughs> we are having an incredible amount of fun uh, coming your way <laughs> on this particular show. We're back. We've got our singer Jim Banky that moved to town when he was just three days old. Liz is still in her apron. That's why she's this here. This is so cool. Yeah, I hope I get to keep it. Yeah, I feel like your dad. Boy, that dress is awfully short when you, <laughs> your dad went to high school. I'm a few years older than you, just several. Well, Jeff, that means you're about 25. We Thank you. We have got Jim Banky, who's been so kind here. Now, Jim also has helped out by his, uh, there's, a, there's a whole, I guess we could call it digital, what would I call it? Orchestra, you can take care of that. It's a studio. We're going to call it a studio right here in town. It's these little men in a box. Bill Garretts. That's Bill's name. He takes care of that. Before we hear from Jim, I want to thank the uh, Leadership Academy was here. Right. Melissa, Chris, Chris. and Jakey were here. Jacob. Jacob. They were here right. for the Leadership Academy. That's the ECC Leadership Academy. Let's see if we can talk a little bit with Jim Banky before he sings a song. Jimbo, how are you, sir? Doing very well, thanks. Jim, you're a handsome man. You look like uh, Steve Stepanovich, the NBA star. Do you remember him? <laughs> no. Has anyone know. ever told you that? <laughs> no. Well, you do. <laughs> now, you moved to Elgin when you were three days old, is that right? Yeah, from Arizona. Is there a story about that? Mom said, I've just given birth. Get me out of yeah, this hospital. I walked up here when I was three, I learned, when I was real young. And, and it had to be that quick? <laughs> were you <laughs> wanted by the law at age three I was days? adopted. Yeah. All right, and you, how long have you been professionally singing? <laughs> uh, I'm far from professional. I just sing, that's it. You just sing, that's oh, it. Oh, well, you sound come, professional. We have all the non-professionals here at Jeff's Place. That's, <laughs> that's why I'm hosting. <laughs> and what song are you going to uh, sing for us, Jim? And then you can tell me goodbye. Oh, well, and then we will. <laughs> so it, it is ironic. Okay, we have our, you have the uh, Jeff's Place Orchestra ready to go for you. And we're going to cue the orchestra right now. So, young Jeff, if you're ready, Jim Banky, take it away. Take it away. Got me to weigh you shortly. <laughs> no problem here. Kiss me each morning for a don't work out then you can tell me goodbye sweeten my coffee with a morning kiss soften my dreams with your sighs tell me you love me don't work out if it don't work out then you can tell me goodbye
Just so that we can say we tried Tell me you love me for a million years Then if it don't work out If it don't work out Nicely done, Jim. Wonderful. Thank you. Dude, he's got a future ahead of him, don't you think? He sure does. I was kind of getting dewy-eyed a little bit with that song. <laughs> Maybe you could give him your uh, your agent. <laughs> my agent. Uh, or my card, I guess. This Ellen episode has got me thinking. <laughs> well, we, Jim, we got to say goodbye to you, Jim. Nicely oh. done. When, when you perform all over, you'll come back and say hello to us, won't you? Anytime you'd have me. Jim Banky, ladies and gentlemen. How much time do we have left in the show? We're almost out of here. Liz, as always, this has been a wonderful treat. This was fun. Episode 14, the most performing Jeff's Place ever. Our thanks to Mr. Gerber, of course, for the filet of tuna, if you might. Also, of course, we have the quartet here. They were great grandfather's clock. And Jim Banky enjoying some water off stage now before he collapses. <laughs> and we're gonna get out of here. Liz, as always, you're a charm. Nice apron. Yeah, thank you. So we're gonna go chow down. We gotta get out of here, so we're gonna say goodbye at this point for this edition of Just Play. <laughs> Yeah, we have got to just